So this way in front is the Chesington Countryside Walk and the Thames Down Link. Obviously, over here, we normally have like horses in this field here, but t today, no, might really escape one that jumped over. Gold knows, but we shall see. Oh. As, as I follow along this way, not far from here, uh, in Horton Country Park, there's a riding school on Horton Country Lane, I believe, um, where they, people go to ride horses, breed them, um, look after horses, uh, ride them for competitions, that sort of thing. So, because also I just passed a couple of people on horses, there was three horses and that, so. And they were saying about the escaped horse, hashtag escaped horses. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. So they're, they're normally in these two fields uh, across the horses. But obviously, if I went round the other side, I would have gone round right across the back where the big trees are, all the way round. But I didn't. Uh, and on this occasion, I didn't um, want to. I wanted to show you this path here which is the best path, I believe, to where I want to get to, anyway. <sighs> yeah, just nice to go back to nature, really. You don't realise how many acres of land are in your local area. Because obviously I'm from Epsom, just on the border between Epsom and Chesington, so you don't realise how many acres of land there actually is around. Obviously, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people live in the big built-up cities. London, Birmingham, Edinburgh, Cardiff, Manchester, for example. So they don't really see much green land, green areas, fields, trees, nature, birds tweeting, just nothingness. It's just like... You're, you're just swinging around like this in the air. And just Your brain's not contemplating anything, work, jobs, family, anything, just a nice relaxing time. Because a lot of um, Chesington is built up a bit, so you've got a little bit more, um, what's the word? Uh, a lot of people basically, and, and then you do get a lot of fields, like Epsom, there's quite a few fields around as you can see, I'll just turn you around as well. As you can see over here, a lot of fields. And you don't realise, unless you've lived here for at least a year or two, that it's round here, lots and lots of fields. Which I used to come when I did the scouts and cubs and that sort of thing, and walks with a friend and all that. So we're coming up to a junction, left or right. So I'll go and consult Google Maps for the best route. Because I want to go for the best route for you guys, my lovely subscribers. Here again we have signs for Chesington. Um, that way. And that way to Horton Lane. Two thirds of a mile to Horton Lane. Three fourths of a mile to Chesington to the right. And Horton Lane to the left. Um, as we pop over this way. There's some more signs for the walk that we went on. Um, Chesterton Countryside Walk and the Thames Down Link you can to the left again it's the same to the right obviously go around there it's just round in a big fat circle so I'm going to go to the right here oh here we go lovely because here again Chesterton right Horton Lane left and Mackenzie Way, third of a mile. So, just quickly show you here. That's right, because Horton Country Park, the top end, I believe, with some animals here. I can remember rightly. Whoops, try and focus it in. Over there as well. 
some sheep and that sort of thing. Just to zoom in and get some of the animals, the sheep for example. Because this is the back of Horton Country Park, um, I should say, and Horton Country Farm as well, the back way where you can see the farm areas and the animals and that. I will go back down that way and then come back up and go to, to the left all the way round again because that's where I want to go but I've, I thought I might as well show you this way after consulting Google Maps just to show you the best ways around. Obviously I know quite a lot of the routes myself but just double checking just in case I make a a wrong turning, I didn't want to go that way because there's like at least 10, 11 routes so the route through here as well which leads you to a bit further round on the Horton, Horton Country Park oh, about 16 degrees now I put those photographs on the chat chat uh, with today's the 20th of October so this will go up in about 2-3 weeks maybe 1, possibly 2 or even 3 vlogs Again, through here, you have some sheep. Yeah, my famous sheep noises. Across the way, sheep. And, and then obviously, a bit further down, you get some more play areas for the kiddies and see some goats and some pigs, cows. I'm even sure Donald Trump's in there somewhere. Ah! I'm sure he's been named as one of the animals, but I haven't been since last year. So, I used to come quite a lot, Horton Country Park, um, to the farm, Horton Country Farm, with the kids many years ago. We did alt alternate with two farms, one near Leatherhead and, and this one, but we, we usually go, used to go to one to Leatherhead. Um, in, in the latter years, but when I first started working with, with kids, in some holidays we'd go on trips and we used to go to here back in what, um, 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, something like that. Lovely place, see lots and lots of animals and trips around in a tractor, for example. Hopefully, you're enjoying this vlog and vlogs. Let me know down below what you like about this vlog. What sort of animals you like, um, things you've seen in the vlog that you like or what you didn't like. Tell me what I could do better, what you liked, what I did, for example. And leave a comment down as well on like and share and all that. Because I do try and reply to every comment as much as I can as well. As you can probably see as I zoom in over the way, there's lots of slides and different play equipment for, for the children. Horton Country Park, um, the farm, Horton Farm I should say. And here we have some horny beasts with humps. My humps, my humps, my lovely lady lumps. Hmm, <laughs> lol. And here, and what we've got round here. Because it's, it's a big area, if you look on the map, Horton Country Park. And from where I went, started at, to where I fifth finished, and went down. Oh, here is pigs, um, in their, probably in their pens. Having a snooze, that sort of thing. Hopefully, you can see that because the sun's blaring out the glare as well. I'm going to continue with this route here by the farm, but there, down there, is a little play area because there's like a little estate or medium sized estate around there. But when I do come back through here, way round, I'll go down there and have a look and show you the pictures on the um, signs and all that. So I'll carry on around here first for a bit. Because obviously I'd, I'd go down there and then I come down to here and then I go all the way back to World Country Park and back where I was going to go. But I came down here anyway. So obviously I haven't been around Horton Country Park for a long time. So. Just so many ways you can go around here. Which I go quite often. 
I drive around this area probably twice a week or, or more, taking my mum to work or going places or this, that and the other. And over here, you can see through the fence, got some horses, little horses, foals, or whatever, whatever you call them. This is really lovely to see. Here we have Horton Country Park Local Nature Reserve here and like we've got the golf course up here the Chesington Road is there and, and I live somewhere up here then you've got the golf course which you can go round we are basically here in the red dot number 10 which is Horton Park Farm Showing you many of the um, numbers there. The Horton Light Railway as well. You used to be a light railway, um, and that. And then you've got the ponds, the woodland, facilities to enjoy countryside walks, horse riding, picnic areas, car parks, web pages, surfaces, tracks, information centre, history of you've got a green woodpecker as well. She pecks wood. Wood does he peck? Peck wood. Wood peck 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 wood. The dog rose plant thingy, my bob. Um, uh, the tawny, get a lot of tawny owls around here as well. Got grassland, so a lot of reserves. Um, turn around, a lot of reserves around, and walks around Chesington and Epsom, where I've been. So I pop around this way just slightly, and then what I do is I come back. Go all the way back down and then through Hawthorne Country Park and go round where I was. Um, but be before I do that, I go down here and then I go to the right and go to that little play area and have a look around there. Here in front, where the cars are going, it's called Horton Lane. A lot of roundabouts, five, six, seven roundabouts. You can get it from where I live. So it's not far around West Yule, all that. Horton Golf Club, that way around. I, I say I go around here about twice a week, three times a week. Drop my mum off to work and pick her up and other places. So I'm just going to pop now to this little, um, little estate where there's a charity shop, a cheeky charity shop that I've not been to for a while. So I must go into here into this estate I couldn't go into the Bernardo's on the estate. It was a charity shop. They were closed for lunch. Ah! Trust them to be closed late for lunch. Cheek, in it? Cheeky. Oh well, back to where I go, to Horn Country Park. Here's another sign for Horton Country Park to the left. 
and Horton Country Park to the right. So it's all the way round. So I'm going to go back to the left where I came from. Uh, the park and the farm, I should say, is to the left as well again. So the Horton Country Park no Local Nature Reserve. So I go up here. Here is the path to the local park for the local um, uh, area for the little estate. There's a state to the right where we went to where we saw Bernardo's, which is closed <laughs> for lunch. Here's another little estate here. Just quickly go through it. <coughs> Show you around a little bit. It's really good. I don't really come here that often. I don't live far myself, but I just know I need to come here because it's usually either raining or cold or if it's it is sunny. I'm usually either at home or out somewhere. Just to say, I've worked my way on through the little park area to Clarendon Park. I'll show you to see that. Um, Mackenzie Way, Clarendon Park. It's one of about two or three little estates around Epsom that are newly built in the like early 2000s, possibly mid 2000s, something like that. Clarendon Park, around it's bigger. So I'm not going to go round it, but I've been round it before. It's like, like a mini estate sort of thing. So, oh, I'm going to go back where I was, all the way down to Horton Park. Um, oh, ah, yeah. Oh. I say there's so many routes and ways you can go around Epsom, so many things you can see, but I don't think I get time to see all of it that I'd like to see. But I try and see as much as I can because obviously I've got to make it back um, for the reseller auction. Obviously, it's happened, it's finished now, but time of recording this on the 20th of October, I've got to make it back for a seller auction at 8 o'clock. So As you can probably see, I'm walking past the farm again. I've been down to Clarendon Park and the, the um, little estate and set across the way where the Bernardo's was closed. Stupid Bernardo's. <laughs> Lol. Oh well, the way it goes. I'll go another, another day, maybe. And that. So, just showing you a few more pictures of the farm. When the sun sets already. 20 past 3. It's setting already. Jesus. Bang on summer next year. <laughs> Even though us Brits complain about it quite a lot. Uh, it's, it's quite a long walk. I've done quite a fair bit myself. <sighs> but a fair bit to, to go. Just coming up at the, the top to um, Horton Country Park, where I go, I believe, to the left. But I'll have to double check that. And round again. Oh, it's been a lovely day. Not thinking about anything really. Right, we are here at Horton Country Park now. Well, after many <laughs> miles of walking, so I believe it's to the left, but I'll double check that. I'll catch you in the next one. I was correct, Horton Lane to the left. So I've been up to Mackenzie Way, the animals, and Chesington that way. So Horton Lane to the left, two thirds of a mile. Whew. So just go this way. I said earlier, I feel like David Attenborough, Sir David Attenborough, with the um, animals and the creatures, birds, singing, tweeting, yeah, in, in the undergrowth, creeping around in the undergrowth, with the good shots his cameramen get, and how he gets so close to the bee, um, creatures and animals, when he does nature shows. Oh, 
Yeah, I say, like it's 25 minutes past three and the sun's now setting because obviously we're in autumn, so, you know, near enough winter where the leaves, I say, on the ground, they shred the leaves and the sun's still shining nicely. It was 16 degrees about an hour and a half ago. Now it's about, what, 14, 13, 14? It's, it's going to get quite cold today, but, uh, tonight I should say, but, oh well. I've just come to the left here because down here, as you can probably see through a tree, there's a few horses. So if I get a gap in the um, trees there, I'll go and see if I can see the horses. You have a look. Obviously, I don't want to sting myself or anything like that. No, I don't think we are going to get a gap. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Um, I found a gap, gap so I can find the horses. Just zoom into the horses. So obviously a little while ago, a couple jumped over. Obviously got water right at the trough at the top. Some trees, leaves, branches. Oh, lovely creatures, I love the creatures. There's one right down there. Horsey! Horsey! Oh well, nothing you can do about it, they're munching on the food. Do I get to interact with any horses? Find out in the next vlog in part 3.